Uh, this pizza here is a classic New England pizza. This is actually a pizza that's very well known in Connecticut. Uh, stuffed meat pizza, you know, Connecticut's really world known for pizza making, which a lot of people don't know, but this is a very classic pie there, along with a shrimp scampi pizza and along with a white clam pizza. So, when I start doing this, I'm gonna show you a little more advanced technique. Can't throw up too high, catch the hood. But, so this is how you do it when you really get good at making the pizzas. So what you wanna do with this now, I gotta make it big enough to cover that guy. So I'm gonna stretch this out just a little bit more. Make sure I get the sausage a little bit back from the edge. And now I'm gonna drop this guy down. Not bad, huh? So what we wanna do now is we wanna kinda of crimp the edges and this is a kind of an interesting technique. What you wanna do is turn and squeeze, turn and squeeze, turn and squeeze, turn and squeeze. So you kinda of have like a, a rope thing going on the edge. You know, if you can't do it, it's okay. Don't worry about it. The pizza still gonna taste good. So twist, pinch, twist, pinch, and you're really pushing down with your thumb. The thumb is actually making these little marks in it. We get to the corner, you know, it might be a little bit tough here, but it's okay. Keep pushing down with it. So now we have the first layer of pizza. I want to put a little hole in the middle, let some of the steam out. I want to cook this in a 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes. What you're looking for is you want to cook the whole pizza, you just want to kind of golden brown. So we're going to take this, chuck it in the oven. Okay, so now uh, the pizza's about halfway done. You see it's being turned light golden brown. Uh, that's the perfect what we want. Let's talk about this for a little bit. You know, if you did decide to do this for a Super Bowl party, for a big party, you could probably do like uh, three or four of these uh, up to this point and put them on a sheet pan and let it sit for like a day. It won't cause any problems. Uh, once you're ready to go, let's finish the guy off. Remember, there's no sauce on the bottom layer. If you put sauce on the bottom layer, it'll sog out. So top layer, put some sauce. Uh, a lot of times when this is served, uh, people actually put a side of sauce with it also. So here's our second layer. Nice sauce. And I'm just using a pretty much straight tomato sauce. You know, everyone you use at home, uh, feel free to do it. Uh, light layer of cheese. You know, on this layer, you just want to make sure the cheese kind of holds things in place. Pretty big pizza though, huh? Pepperoni, I'm gonna start putting these guys down. If you like pepperoni, you wanna do double pepperoni, triple pepperoni, go for it. You're eating it, it's pretty good. Remember, this is your pizza. You can do anything you want with it. I've done a lot of pizza like these. I put like uh, ricotta cheese, Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese in the middle and put some like uh, chicken and broccoli that came out are really nice too. So when you sell the pizza, it just doesn't have to be meat pizza. You can do any combination. So now I gotta put a little more sausage on there. I know it's a lot now, but wait. This is another reason why I gotta cook it twice. This sausage here has been cooked, cubed, make it nice and easy. You would never wanna use raw sausage with this. That'd be a, that'd kind of be a bad day. I don't think it cook all the way through. I'm gonna finish up this guy with meatballs. Hungry yet? Look at that. Of course, gotta put a little more cheese on there since we're watching our calories on this pizza. All right, what do you think? Ready to go? Add a little more. Let's put this back in the oven. Okay, so my pizza's done. Uh, 
nice golden brown, cheese a little bit golden brown. Let's weigh this guy out. I already uh, zed the scale out, so ooh. let's see what this guy looks like. <clears throat> Where are we at? So 11 and a half pounds, almost 12 pounds for pizza. Not bad, huh? <clears throat> when I first started doing this pizza, we had a deal <clears throat> that if you could eat one piece of this pizza and drink a 32 ounce Coke, you have it for free. Uh, right now, it seems like people need a little more. I probably have to do two slices, but I think one slice of average person will knock you out. Let's cut this up. So, ooh, oh my gosh. Okay, so what do you think? Let's, uh, let's cut this guy open. I'll cut you a slice. You know, normally I cut this into eight slices, so I'm gonna cut this just like that for today. So let me know, send me an email. Let me know if you're thinking and take the Chef Tom challenge and eat this whole piece. Oh, let me get this, uh, these little guys that fall off there. So that's one piece of stuffed meat pizza. Think you can do it, let me know.